Good morning, everybody. This is Trevor Truck, and today we are going to be exploring some ancient ruins. And what better way to do it than by playing golf? Now, this particular starting course was easy. It almost insults my ability to play. But that's what I like about mini golf. Starts you out with the easy stuff and then you grow and you learn. Sometimes life, just like mini golf, is really not fair. And sometimes you find yourself in the middle of some unknown, unexplored, ancient ruins. And I don't know who had the idea to make this into a golf course, but all I can say is that the idea was quite genius. So, it looks to me that I'm going to need to time this right and give it some power. I don't have any comments about this course, per se. And deep down inside, I realize that this is kind of, it's kind of like when you were a child and invited to a birthday party and there was some entertainment in the form of a clown and you realized real quick that it seemed fun you know the the clown has makeup on and can make animal balloons but then you start to realize you know this is this is a little ridiculous it's a little much and even as a kid, you realize that, um, you know, it, it gets old. And I don't know if this particular mini golf course, um, represents reality. I quite honestly think that, that, um, mini golf is the lowest form of golf. That's just my own personal opinion, and it has no bearing on how much fun I'm having right now. And I'm remaining very relaxed, as I hope all of my viewers are. I legitimately, I legitimately didn't understand that last course. I think after this, I'll have to look up the tutorial because uh, clearly there was some type of, uh, there was an element there that I was missing. So my score is just terrible right now. And I must admit, I'm a little embarrassed. But here's the good news. This course looks a whole lot easier. Let's see how this is going to work.
this is uh this is the prime entertainment that you get when you watch someone play mini golf i think i'm gonna just do a light shot here and that way i can get on the ramp heaven knows if this is powerful enough let's see no i suppose not a little bit more power should do yes exactly oh that's so perfect unfortunately this particular um this particular area is very difficult and it makes me miss the forest level because the forest level i thought it was a little more uh understandable um but you know i will give this game some credit it looks fantastic it looks fantastic and um it definitely makes you wish that in real life we could play mini golf in ancient ruins because nothing respects the history of our world quite like mini golf you know i have always wanted to play mini golf not only in ancient ruins but i'd like to go to a place like stonehenge and you know play some mini golf there could you imagine that? That would be fun. All right. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to angle it here. And then it's just one straight shot. Hopefully. Excellent. That might have been the best score that I've gotten so far. And now we go on to take a look at this one here. All right. Well, this looks very complex. But I'm going to give it my best. Like I said, uh, mini golf is probably uh, the, the lowest form of golf-related sports. And, you know, in real life, I could probably do much better. At least, that's what I would think. I could be totally way off. Uh, what do we have here in hole nine? I love how, how colorful this game is. I love the attention to detail, you know. I hope that was a good shot. Okay, so if I understand this correctly. Oh. Oh. Yeah, and this is where I start to kind of draw the line you know what i'm saying um i just don't know other than trial and error how this is supposed to work and the problem with trial and error in a mini golf game is that it's gonna cost you a few strokes to understand exactly how it works what's happening now is really bush league but it's not my fault this is the first time i've done this 
golf course. But I'm, I'm not frustrated. I'm not angry. Because right now, I feel a deep peace inside of my soul. And you know, even though I'm eight strokes away from reaching par, and this, we're not even close to being done, I'm not gonna get frustrated. But here's the problem. Where am I supposed to go? I see now. Okay, well. That's really, that's really pushing the limits of imagination. Whoops. To be completely fair, not many people are going to be playing mini golf inside of a dinosaur's rib cage. So I can forgive myself and the anger and the frustration. I can let it go. Like I said, this game doesn't quite represent real golf, and I have to question the physics engine. But you know, like I said, I'm not angry. I am completely at peace, and you can hear it in my voice, but I do apologize for my performance. This is, um, yeah, this is not my best game of mini golf. Um, it's quite challenging, and if anyone here has advice for this particular ancient course, uh, please, please, please share it with me, because this is, this is really difficult. Um, I don't know if you hear the church bells in the background, but that's just a part of where I live. So, I don't know if you'll hear them or not, but if you do, I apologize. Also, also I don't... What? What am I supposed to do? Am I... Oh. I don't... I don't have... I don't have the patience for this course, I think. And with only 30 seconds left... Okay, that's better. Maybe I can get it in before my time runs out. You know, when I play a video game, all I ask for is a fair shot at success. I am very much doing terribly at this game, and while I do value persistence, I also think there is value in knowing when you have to quit. And the moment that you see um, Venus flytraps looking like that in a miniature golf course in the middle of an ancient civilization, that's when you realize that this game is taking you into some ridiculous realm of the imagination, and I'm all for it. However, this is all the time I have for this video, 
So thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully, if I decide to play this game again, I'm really hoping that, um, it'll be a lot easier than it has been. This has been Trevor Truck. Thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye.